heap sort. As the name implies, heap sort method uses a special data structure called heap to perform sorting. Heap is in fact a special kind of binary tree with two distinguishing features referred to as ordered property and completeness property. The order property implies that each node of a heap contains an element that is larger than both left and right children. It follows that in a heap, the largest element will always be located at the root. The completeness property means that all nodes of the tree up to the bottom level are filled. The bottom level is filled from left to right. An example of heap is shown in figure. Observe that each node contains an integer value which is larger than the values located in the child nodes. Further, the largest number 86 is located at the root of heap. The tree nodes are filled up to the third level. The bottom level has only two nodes with values 31 and 64 which are located in the leftmost positions. The heap sort method is based on the observation that in a heap the largest element always appear at the root level. Thus, heap sort algorithm consists of following steps. Map the array into a binary tree. Convert the binary tree into heap. Remove the topmost item at root level and place it at the end of the array. Move the element in rightmost bottom nodes to the root of tree. Repeat step 2 through 4 until the tree is empty. Quite obviously, the two main steps are mapping the array into a binary tree structure and converting the binary tree into heap. We first examine these steps in some detail. Mapping Array to Binary Tree Transforming an array into a tree structure is relatively simple matter. Using array elements, the binary tree is constructed in top to bottom and left to right order. Thus, the first element is placed at the root. The next two elements are placed as the left and right child nodes and so on. Figure shows an example of an array and its corresponding binary tree. The number next to nodes indicate the tree order and corresponding indexes in the array. Converting tree into heap In heap sorting, conversion of tree into a heap, commonly referred to as heaping, is a major task. Two common algorithms follow either top-down or bottom-up approach. In top-down procedure, the heaping process is started at the root level and proceeds down to the bottom level. In the bottom-up method, the reverse order is followed. We shall follow the top-down procedure in the subsequent discussion of heap sort. The heaping procedure will be as follows. Starting with first child of the root node, systematically consider all the elements up to the last leaf node. If an element is smaller than its parent, then swap the contents of pivot and child. If no exchange is required, move to the next node. Otherwise, continue repeating step 2 until the root is reached. Figure illustrates the heaping process. In the diagram, arrows show the movement of elements. Heaping process proceeds as follows. 31 and 58 are exchanged. Next, node 3 is examined. It contains element 60, which is larger than the element 58 at root node. So, 58 and 60 are exchanged. Then, node 4 is considered. 
It contains element 38, which is larger than the element 31 in the parent node. Thus, 31 and 38 are swapped. Next, node 5 is processed. It contains element 67. 38 and 67 are swapped. Node 2 now contain 67, which is larger than 60 in the parent root node. Thus, 67 and 60 are exchanged so that element 67 moves to the top. Then, node 6 is processed. It contains element 70, which is larger than the element 58 in the parent node. So, element 58 and 70 are exchanged. Next node 7 is processed. It contains element 69, which is larger than the element 67 in the parent node. Therefore, the elements 69 and 67 are exchanged. Finally, node 8 is processed. It contains element 86, which is larger than the element 31 in the parent node. Therefore, 86 and 31 are swapped. Node 4 now contains 86, which is larger than 60 in the parent node. Therefore, 60 and 86 are swapped. The node 2 now contains 86, which is larger than 70 in the parent root node. Therefore, 86 and 70 are exchanged. Thus, elements 86 moves to the root. The tree is now fully heaped. Please click the button to watch visualization of heap sort procedure. Implementation of heap sort the code for implementation of heap sort procedure is shown in figure. It contains two methods named H sort and CR heap. The function H sort is called by the user program. It sets the size of array, then invokes the CR heap heap creation method. The CR heap converts the binary tree into a heap. The size of tree is passed as an argument to CR heap. Click the button to run interactive program for heap sort. Analysis of heap sort. In heaping, an element is compared with its left child and swapped if child holds a larger element. It is then compared with the right child and swapped again if the right child holds a large element. In moving down an element, two comparisons and at most two exchanges are performed. We conclude that during reheaping, four major operations are performed at each level of the binary tree. In a preceding unit, we have seen that a binary tree of size n has at most log n levels. As such, the total number of comparisons and swap would be 4 log n. In general, the largest and smallest elements are swapped n times. This means that the total number of major operations involved in the reheaping is at most 4 n log n. Therefore, the running time of the heap sort is O 4 n log n or O n log n. Thus, heap sort has the same asymptotic behavior as the quick sort. Further analysis shows that heap sort is somewhat slower than quick sort. It is definitely faster than the quadratic sort algorithm. Heap sort has some advantages over the quick sort. First, unlike the quick sort, it is not recursive. Second, Compared to quicksort, it is more robust. This means that the performance of heap sort does not depend on the state of input data. It is always guaranteed to be proportional to n log n, irrespective of the fact whether the input data is partially sorted or random. For such reasons, 
HeapSort provides an ideal solution for sorting of data in real-time applications because order of input data cannot be predicted in such situations.